the Indianapolis Colts go ahead and sign a running back. He goes by Darren T. Evans. He's a former Chicago Bear, and he played with, and he was drafted by the Titans in the third round. He's been in the NFL for three years. Doesn't have much production. Doesn't have many stats. That, you know, doesn't really have much to show for the three years he's been in the league. Uh, you know, he has had a few shots at kick return. He's had a few shots at, you know, just running the ball. Just hasn't really had the serious shot to go ahead and maybe make a name for himself. And it's not going to happen with the Colts. You know, I actually really like Darrington Evans coming out. I thought he could have been a lethal kick returner. Not really going to do that here. Delias Flowers had a phenomenal, you know, like second half of the year last year when he stepped in. Delias was amazing. I don't see him overtaking Delias, but, you know, you bring him in for competition. That's really it. Maybe a practice squad guy. Uh, Darrington Evans, you know, in Appalachian State, he... You know, he he played three years and has had almost 3,000 rushing yards. He averaged six yards a carry, had 25 touchdowns. And, and, you know, he played a little bit of a role in the receiving game. He's a fun back. He was a, he, he was a very exciting back in Appalachian State. Never really translated well to the NFL. Never really was given a chance over in Tennessee, sitting behind Henry. Then you go to Chicago, you have Khalil Herbert, and you have Dave Montgomery in front of him as well. Coming to Indianapolis, not going to change. You have Jonathan Taylor in front of you. You have Zach Moss there. Uh, not really a great spot for him to come to to try and get a shot. Deion Jackson, I think it's going to be hard for him to beat out Deion Jackson. Maybe they're just, I, I, I see this, as you know, bringing him in as just a competition, just for competition. As much as I liked him coming out, he just hasn't had production. You know, he, he, he doesn't have enough to really take that third spot for me. I think he's, you know, just being brought in for competition. I'm excited to see maybe maybe he surprises us and makes a roster, you know, at the end of roster cuts, but I don't think so. You guys let me know what you think about this signing. Just a quick little update brought to you by the JDW Sports Talk Show. If you enjoy this quick little news update, make sure you like, subscribe, with the post notification bell on so you don't miss any future videos. This is the JDW Sports Talk Show signing off. Long winning, baby. <laughs>